eternity holds for the redeemed. December 31st. All the treasures of the universe will be opened to the study of God's redeemed. Unfettered by mortality, they will wing their tireless flight to worlds afar. Uh, worlds that thrilled with uh, sorrow and at spectacle of human woe and rang with songs of gladness at the tidings of a ransomed soul. What a beautiful sight. Psalm 91 verse 16 says, With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. As we contemplate on the word long life, we understand that this is life everlasting. Forever God will satisfy us. Imagine living forever and forever, satisfied by God. He says, I will show him my salvation. The word salvation there means deliverance and victory. Uh, God will show us uh, uh, the victory that will be wrought uh, through his name and through his grace. Uh, at this time, I want to invite you to accept the grace of God, accept the victory of God, accept his deliverance uh, for you and uh, for me. Why? Because the price would have already been paid. You might be wondering how to receive this victory. It is simple. To receive this victory, we just need to be on the side of the victor. Who is the victor? Christ is the victor. Once we are on his side, then automatically we gain the deliverance. Automatically we gain the victory. Why not trust in his word uh, today? Let us ask God for guidance in being on the side of him who is himself the victor. That is the power of his word. Why not? Let's pray. Father, we just pray today and we ask you for guidance. As we spend this last day of the year, we want you to guide us, not, even, not only into all truth, but guide us as we enter into the new year. May this new year bring new blessings and new joy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Remember, my dear brothers and sisters, the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay.